Hey guys, Shot the here. So, no, it's been a while, but we're going to go back to our warplanes, and this time we're going to be covering the Tier 6 German fighter, the Messerschmitt BF109F Friedrich, uh, which is the Tier 6 fighter, following on from the E-Series Emil at Tier 5. Um, I think this aircraft has a bit of a bad reputation among um, what the warplanes uh, pilots, especially those people who've done the German tech tree, who went down the German fighter line. Um, and I think it has a better reputation because it, it feels worse in ways that count, uh, using air quotes there, um, to the Emil. Um, and actually, I don't think it's that bad of an aircraft. Now, of course, naturally, compared to the Emil, you lose out on having um, firepower and gun armament if you're comparing uh, fully graded aircraft. Because the Emil, I think, has a gun armament rating of 15 compared to the Friedrichs 10. Of course, the Emil has 220mm and two 7.92mm machine guns, whereas the Friedrich can go. I think two 13 mils and a single 15 or 20, depending on your personal preference. Um, so your gun armament actually drops from the tier 5 to the tier 6. But that's the only thing you really lose out on, um, going from an Emil to the, the, the F, um, the Friedrich, um, in tier 6. Because, of course, naturally moving up a tier, you have more hit points. Now, you don't have the most hit points at tier 6 in terms of fighters, because the P-51A Mustang has you beat. But, you know, 200 to 260 is a pretty reasonable jump, and you're not too far underneath the Mustang. You gain an airspeed. Again, you're not the fastest, because the Mustang in top configuration has you beat. Um, he's, I think, like 670 kilometers an hour to your 620, and his maximum dive speed is 850 to your 820. But, again, he only just beats you. Uh, Maneuverability. Actually, the maneuverability... Um, the turn time for both the Emil and the Friedrich, I believe, is the same as is their rate of roll, but your optimum airspeed is quicker. So you have um, the same performance as the Emil, but at a faster speed. And if the Emil goes up to the same speed that you're at and tries to perform the same maneuver, he's worse. And your stall speed remains the same. So arguably your maneuverability in the 109F is better. Uh, and you'll beat the, the Mustang that we've been compared to quite a lot because the Mustang, although he has a better rate of roll and optimum airspeed, his stall speed's higher than yours and he takes longer to turn 360 degrees. So you, you're better off than a Mustang in that regard. And then altitude performance, I mean, it's, it's a 109. It, it's, you know, 2,000 meters at optimum altitude and, and a really good rate of climb. Uh, I think the best, if not the second best of tier 6, but your optimum altitude is the highest of all the, the regular uh, the fighters at that tier, I, I believe. Um, and so I think it's an aircraft that's been given a pretty poor reputation that it just kind of doesn't deserve. Um, I, I think it's just simply because of the circumstances of you've lost firepower and everything that you're against has got more hit points now. So you, you don't get that kind of feeling you get in stuff like the Emil series 109 or like the A6M1 with the cannons where if you shoot at something for a couple of seconds and your cannon around hits it just obliterates whatever it's shooting at. Um, but I don't think it needs that. Because really the role you should be filling is in a 109F, as you should be in the E-Series, is that you should be killing S priority fighters and multi-role fighters. It should be your first concern, arguably your only concern. Really only picking on heavy fighters and ground attackers and leaving, really leaving bombers alone. Because bombers should be something your heavy fighters should be dealing with, or maybe your multi role should be dealing with. Because they will have infinitely more firepower than you and far more health than you. So they can survive being shot at by the bomber's defensive gunners and take them out quicker than you can. Um, and also, if you're going to take altitude and something like a fighter, you want to be using it to get superiority over other fighters, not go to altitude to hunt bombers. I mean, sure, you could, you know, argue that if well, you don't hunt down bombers, who's going to? Well, sometimes maybe they don't get hunted down. Maybe they're just left there. But what is a bomber going to do if he's got no fighter cover whatsoever and the points are being capped before he can get to them? Or they're being, you know, heavily defended by AAA and defense fighters? If he's got defense fighters that are going to come roving in and start blasting at him, well, he's not dropping bombs, he's defending himself from defense fighters and from anti-aircraft fighters coming up. So, really, while you might not be able to deal with him, well, there are certain situations you could put a bomber in where he's not going to be able to do his job. And if he's not doing his job, shooting him down doesn't matter, does it? He's not doing his job anyway. Um, and, I, and I think that's kind of what's ruined the, the 109F's reputation quite a bit in, in, in World of Warplanes. And for me, it's a really nice aircraft. Um, and I personally just fly it solely to go after other fighters and other multi roles and that's my primary concern. If Grand Attackers appear in a, in a suitable position where it's the only target around, or I just happen to be in a position where I can go after them because there's no fighters around, sure, but that's, you know, going after B-17Gs, I'm never going to do that in a, in a free drink. That's not my job. If I want to shoot B-17 you know, Gs down, I'll take something out like a, an ME-210 you know, or an ME-410, or insert other tier 6 heavy fighter 
and just go after them that way. But if I'm flying a Friedrich, I'm flying it to shoot down other rare superiority fighters and other multi role fighters to make sure that you know the guys on my side can do their jobs unimpeded. And that's the role that the aircraft filled historically, and that's the role that it fills in game. So really, it's it's dropping firepower it doesn't matter too much because you're still on par with most of the other fighters at the same tier as you. And while you have less than your predecessor, it still works. Especially if you combine the 13 mils with 15 mils, it means that most of your weapons have got the same effective firing range. So there's none of that. Your cannons are vastly outreaching your machine guns. So you know, if you open fire at this distance, your machine guns aren't effective. They're pretty much at the same range. But this isn't going to be a video where I tell you how to to fly the aircraft. But I think just to say that for me, it's still a fun aircraft, and I don't think the 109 really ever becomes irrelevant um, in the tier that it's in. You could argue that it falls off a bit at the G series, but again, you could still make a G series work. Uh, I'm not there yet, so I'll give you my run down on that by the time I get there. But I think the 109F is, yeah, I think it's given a bad rap, and I, and I think it should be flown with a lot more um, consideration into the role that it should be filling. You shouldn't be killing bombers, you shouldn't be killing ground attackers, you're there to take out fighters. And having one less cannon than your previous tier counterpart doesn't impede you from shooting fighters down. As you'll see in this gameplay, I can go after Corsairs and low health heavy fighters and you know, lags and spitfires with, with impunity, really. And it doesn't bother me having one less cannon on the aircraft that I was in before that. But anyway, I'll leave that up for the rest of you guys that play this game still and uh, either have flown or are going to fly the 109F to figure out for yourself and see if it's something that fits with you. And that might just be it. It might just be the aircraft doesn't fit with you, and, you know, so be it. The aircraft doesn't fit with you. There's plenty more fish in this here. But yeah, there you go, guys. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you all next time. Victory is ours! We're waiting for your return!